The term thugs in suits is something that I suppose will now become commonplace in our language. It's a very well-coined expression. Uh, it's used by Vince Cable and Greg Clark today and underscores a critical view of the post office management's handling of the Horizon IT scandal. This phrase, originally used by Alan Bates, highlights the oppressive and arrogant manner in which the post office's middle management treated sub-postmasters and those challenging the status quo. Vince Cable, who served as business secretary from 2010 to 2015, expressed regret over the lack of detailed briefings on the Horizon system, admitting that significant issues were not flagged up to him during his tenure, and despite his goal to balance the relationship between the post office management and operators throughout uh, the time, Cable acknowledged his failure to act decisively due to insufficient information and the absence of direct engagement from MPs and campaigners. He stated that the problems with Horizon barely came across his desk, indicating a communication gap that prevented him from fully grasping the severity of the issue until the end of his term. Greg Clark, who succeeded Cable, also began his testimony reflecting on the mounting pressure the post office faced as sub-postmasters pursued legal action. The scandal, which led to the wrongful prosecution of over 700 postmasters um, postmasters and postmistresses exposed the flaws in the Horizon IT system and the systemic failures within the post office and governmental oversight. The narrative constructed by Cable and Clark, where they position themselves as unaware of the depth of the issue, uh, because of poor communication and misleading information from the post office management and from senior civil servants aligns with Ed Davies earlier position. He set the stage for this particular narrative. Davies suggested that ministers were kept in the dark about the prosecutions, continuing the trope of unawareness and misdirection, despite the fact that Private Eye, for example, was trumpeting this story. And uh, this defence raises questions about the responsibilities and the actions of ministers and the reports of the scandal in magazines like Private Eye, which were increasingly alarming, suggest that there were signals that could have been pursued more vigorously. Cable's admission that not one of a group of 140 MPs came to talk to him in person, despite numerous polite letters illustrates a broader issue of engagement and responsiveness within the governmental process. And the term thugs in suits encapsulates the perception of a powerful and detached bureaucracy that aggressively defended its flawed system while neglecting the legitimate concerns of sub-postmasters and whistleblowers and its seen elsewhere, for example, in the NHS, in the Windrush scandal, in the Grenfell scandal. Th this is not peculiar simply to the post office. This is about the way things seem to work in Westminster, and surely it is wrong. And it implicitly, this, this thing implicitly critiques the government oversight mechanisms that allowed such a scandal to persist unchecked for years and years, and it's still not resolved. And these people, this string of Lib Dem High, flower, high Flyers is saying, well, not my fault, Gov. Not my fault, Gov. Well, somebody has to accept that um, there is ministerial responsibility. Otherwise, there's no point in having a minister, is there?